what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell sis because you don't want to miss any uploads this year and if you are not already you should definitely follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life so you guys today i'm gonna be showing you how i got this closure to look like a frontal and I'm going to show you guys how I got these bomb, like, body curls. So let's get into it. So I'm starting off with this wig that I made. And the hair that I'm using is Pure Virgin Hair. You guys have seen me um, work with this company before. It is a black-owned business. And you can use my code SHANE10 to save some money. So what I like to do is spray down the hairline first. And then I like to section the baby hair area away from the rest of like the dense hair and i just like to start tweezing you guys i have no particular way of tweezing the only tip that i can give you guys for tweezing is to not let your tweezer stay in the same place so just make sure that your tweezer is moving constantly so that you don't get any bald spots because that is not the goal we don't want any holes we just want it to look natural so tweeze it until it looks natural so i'm going to tweeze until i get my desired look for the hairline and then i'm going to go ahead and apply my wig with the salon pro 30 second chic bond glue i have a full review on this glue you guys it's hella bomb so Make sure you guys check that video out. I will link it down in the description box and you can click the eye in the corner as well to watch that. So I just put two thin layers of this glue and I'm going to let it dry down completely before I apply my lace over top of it. Now that I've applied the lace on top of the glue, I'm going to take a rat tail comb and take that in and really like smash that lace into my skin to make sure it's nice and melted. You guys can take a scarf and tie down the hairline if you like. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day. So I'm just figuring out like my parting situation and I cut off that little access piece um, that was still on the lace and then I'm gonna just take some more glue and lay that down. All right, so after I press all the lace in, I'm going to go ahead and start to press out the roots. Now, if y'all are following me on IG, which you should be, you um, would have seen like two weeks ago that my old electric pressing comb blew up on me so i purchased this one off of amazon it's by andis you guys when i tell y'all this pressing comb is bomb it is freaking bomb i'll leave a link to it down below it's at target and walmart too um but i just happened to get mine off of amazon but when i tell y'all this is the best electric pressing comb that i've used you need it in your life and I didn't show it, but y'all know I always apply the Care Care wax stick to my parting area. It just, it's magic in a tube. So I always press that out as well. So now I'm going to start to curl my hair. And you guys, I don't even know the name of this flat iron, but I will find it and link it down below. If you guys watched um, my god sister's wedding vlog, then it was featured in there because the guy in the mall like straightened and curled my ponytail and i end up buying the flat iron and i love it so basically what i'm doing is taking small sections of the hair and i'm curling one piece backwards the next piece forward backwards forward just alternating between the two directions and it just gives you these bomb body curls oh my god you guys i just realized that the part of me showing you guys how I like cut the baby hairs and laid the baby hairs did not even record so I'm just gonna talk you guys pretty much to what I do I like to just take a small section um, at the very beginning of the hairline and cut it really short and then I take the got to be spray and the gel mixed together and just lay the baby hairs down I will show you guys in another video I'm so sorry I did not record I had no idea so that's what I did you guys and I didn't lay it down afterwards because it was like already kind of melted so I didn't need to but that's what I do to lay the baby hairs down. Thank you. 
All right, so now we're at the end and all I like to do after I finish curling is run my fingers through it and then I like to take my comb and comb the bang area backwards and it just gives your bang that like body look. I love it so much. That is all I did for this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter and make sure you got the subscribe button and notification bell on and I will see y'all in my next one.